Oh, queen! Can you kneel down? Okay. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy part two because this is where it starts to get really juicy. I'm saying this is gonna be stuff that you never would've thought would've happened. This is stuff, it's just, it's, it's about to go down. The 4th of July, like celebration with my family and I made firecracker cookies and my mom made cherry bombs where she did vodka infused cherries. I got Amberlynn a promise ring around this time for our one year. Um, it was mostly because she was talking about getting engaged a lot. She was talking about wedding stuff kind of a lot and I just wanted to get her a ring just to make her happy basically. And then y'all talking smack about them being the same ring that I gave Lexus. It is not. I don't know what Amberlynn did with the ring I gave her, but I didn't, didn't ever have it again. And I literally just got Lexus's in January. So I can't help that they both like Opal. That's just what, when me and Lexus have looked at rings before, that's what she liked. So that's what I got. I also noticed that she um, tried to film me in the shower a lot. Not like really showing too much of me, but still kind of showing me. I had a surprise birthday party for my birthday that I wasn't expecting. It was a few days before my birthday. And um, the day after that, that's when my pappy had a heart attack. At that party, I got way too drunk. That was also the night that Amber Lynn got way too drunk and had uh, recorded herself a good bit and embarrassed herself. Um, she was so drunk that there was no way we were getting her up the stairs because those stairs are sketchy. So we just, we slept downstairs on the couch. And then you guys will see my mom frequently drinking around this time because she's in a lot of the videos around this time. Um, my mom very much was an alcoholic. Um, it's no big deal. Uh, I mean, in the end, I guess it was, but you know, she was, and it ended up making some issues at one point. You will see. Then she shows how I start using a TV for a, a screen for my laptop because my laptop was broke. Um, my laptop got broke because me and her were literally arguing over me playing Sims and not doing something. I don't, I couldn't even tell you what it was, but when I went to get up, I was mad and I just dropped it and broke it. I didn't like throw it down, but I dropped it trying to like walk away from the situation. Um, and then I also noticed that she showed my butt crack a lot. Um, I don't know why it is, but I have a long butt crack. I try to keep it maintained, but sometimes it's out. But she didn't have no reason to be posting my butt crack on YouTube. The photo shoot that I did also for my birthday, that was awesome. We found that it, went, it was just a post that was on Facebook somewhere, and we just thought it was a good idea. My mom handmade a lot of the decorations for it, and she made the cake. Um... And that was a lot of fun and I got to take some good pictures with my mom. Um, then on my actual birthday, we went out. <laughs> Let me go get my... Oh, that's too much. That's uh, too much! Here it is. That's too much. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Mom, that's too much. I'll cheers. Santa. Then just sit. Don't do it all. Okay. Do half of it. More. Cheers. 21, baby. <laughs> we ended up finding a couple bars that were open. And we took shots at one of them. And then my mom wanted us to go to the strip club talk about the lady that gave me a lap dance while we were there she was older she had to be like 40s at the most 50 you know i did not enjoy it um she kissed my neck she only had a thong on she gets down and she goes woohoo and she like <laughs> she just like she like she actually pushes her titties together and she goes <laughs> and then she like she like kissed my neck I only gave her a dollar and my mom yelled at me. She was like, you should have given her more than a dollar. But my mom ended up giving her a few more dollars. Amber Lynn mentions the seatbelt thing again in one of these videos around this time when I'm getting gas. She says something about it still being broke. This is also when Pokemon Go came out and I don't know, everyone was flipping out over it. It was so cool. She shows in a video of me putting a phone, you can't see the ceiling fan in here, but putting a phone in a bag and putting it on the uh, ceiling fan. My mom kicked my butt for that because I duct taped it and it took some of the finish off, but thankfully it was on the side you don't see. As far as I know, I don't know if she lied about anything that happened in her childhood. I don't know why she would lie about that kind of stuff. And then I feel like that's a lot of her problems. You know, like my mom tells her this at one point. She's like, you focus too much on the past. You blame the past for everything that's happening to you now. And you're not moving on from it. And I feel like that's still a big part of what's going on with her now. Like she's still focused on what all has happened in the past and she's not moving forward and i mean hopefully she stops moving forward this is also around the time that i ended up going to the er for my cramps because they were so bad and it turned out that the cyst i had been trying to get checked out in florida had burst 
I don't know why I put this, but I put Amberlynn doesn't show her legs a lot, but that's because she's really self-conscious about her legs because they're so big. We go into August. She starts explaining my weight gain, and I talked about this before in the last video. I guess I weighed 180 pounds when we moved in together. I weigh about 230 now. Okay. It is what it is. Um, Amberlynn states that it's because I'm a picky eater. Um, no. <laughs> it's because for a long time, I mean, it was the way I was eating. At this point as well, she started to reach 13,000 subscribers. And you see me rubbing her feet at this point. And that's because her feet were really, like, rough. Because all she would, she like, she barely ever wore socks. This is also when we start to go to Lexington a lot on our own. And she just starts becoming obsessed with it. That's, like, the closest thing to, I guess, like, a normal kind of park. Because we lived in the middle of nowhere. We would just go all the time. We were starting to get really excited about our job. It was contracted with the government. It started at, like, I think 15.25 or something like that, an hour. Literally just were on a computer all day naming documents for the VA. And it was a really nice job. I mean, it was freaking easy. But everyone that worked there for long enough, they worked you to death was what it was. This is around the time that people start sending me nudes a lot on Snapchat or Instagram and what have you. Um, that is why my Snapchat is private. Talking about Walmart again. I swear she was just addicted to Walmart. I don't understand what it is. I don't think that she goes to Walmart like that anymore. Oh, I just can't stand to go to Walmart half the time now. Um, we had gone to Goodwill and I had got some random stuff. I got a K-cup holder that spun around. Um, <laughs> just remember the K-cup holder because that'll come back in a couple weeks from this point. Um, the night before we started working, my muffler fell off coming back from Walmart. Walmart, 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 Walmart. <laughs> we just had orientation the first day we started working. And then this is where it kind of goes blank for a little while, like in the videos. Like she, she states that it's because she changes as a person. And this is also when we're saying that we're moving out, like we're starting work and then boom, the next video is like, we're moving out. Um, got, we got very behind on vlogs. And like I said, she deleted the ones that she had filmed around this time. I don't know why she did that. I don't know what it was, but a lot of, this is when a lot of drama happened between her and my mom. Now, when I said that they were got into spats a lot before, I'm meaning like, it could have been just anything. It was just little stuff a lot of the time. It would be something small and between my mom being argumentative and Amber Lynn being argumentative, it would become a thing. I want to say like a week or two into training at our job. I think I asked Amber Lynn how she likes the job so far and how, you know, easy it is and all that. And she starts saying that she likes it, that it is easy, but she wanted to focus more on YouTube. And she was like, if by the time training's over, I decide I don't want to do it. I just won't start the actual job. I don't know what came over my mom after this she said something along the lines of you don't need to stay at home all day and youtube it's not going to be good for you trying to lose weight and i guess amberlynn got offended about you know weight loss and all that it's a never-ending thing with her on that i don't know her and my mom started arguing back and forth and my mom ended up getting physical with amberlynn um that's where the cake cup holder comes back they're kind of slapping around at each other and my mom that cake cup holder was sitting on the stairs for us to take upstairs or whatever. My mom came back with it and hit her over the head with it. It was, it was very traumatizing for me, honestly, it was. I was freaking out. It was really rough for me. We ended up not going to training that day, which was, you know, like that was the first time I ever had a panic attack. And after that, that's when I started like kind of experiencing anxiety. Before that, I had some anxiety here and there. Um, but that, like I said, first anxiety attack and it just it was scary I, I just remember seeing everything happen and then being on the floor and just screaming and then I kind of black out but they said I wouldn't let either of them get near me I was like under the kitchen table just screaming and I wasn't letting anyone touch me I don't know and when I kind of came to I was so tired and like I said we just we couldn't go to work that day that's when we decided to get an apartment just for the sake of everyone being under the same roof we get out of training and we start working 5 to 3 30 in the morning oh my god that was awful that was when all the drama with her ex and the situation that they had started and I know that she quit filming for a little while there too and I don't know you know like I just know what she has told everybody else so I mean I don't know and the person her ex um the evidence video that they posted I didn't know that she was messaging them um plain and simple I did not know that till she posted that video so then we get the big TV for the living room, the 55 inch, nice big TV. Um, Amberlynn says literally in this video that she gets it for me. And when we broke up, I wanted that TV because she said it was for me. 
and she tried to say that it was her TV and that she was keeping it. I was not going to get it. I wasn't trying to make a big thing out of it. I didn't really care, but it was the fact that she said it was for me and then turned around and said it wasn't. So I ended up just keeping the TV that we got for our room. This is when Amber Lynn leaves her wallet and a scooter in the parking lot of Walmart. Um, it had her ID in it. It had her social security card in it. It had her debit card in it. I was like, you really left that. And someone could have her identity by now. Who knows? Amberlynn started to become really popular at work. Amberlynn starts talking about buying me a new car. And a lot of the issues, this is going to sound really bad. A lot of the issues I had with the car was driving Amberlynn everywhere. She was bigger. That car was so small. When my stepdad looked over my car, you know, he said one of the, sh the shock on the side that she sat on was so worn down and I needed a new one. And the one on my side was fine. Also around this time, we actually, like I said, she becomes popular at work. We go to the truck stop to eat after work and it's a bunch of people, but Dana is one of those people. And I think it was something where you wear headphones and you say something, and you try to get the person to say what you're saying, something like that. I don't remember. It was something about, I think lips. I don't remember what it was exactly, but I say that to Dana and Amberlynn gets, she gets offended. She, I mean, she goes off right there in front of everybody, does not care. Like I wasn't meaning anything by it. I just had Googled some of the stuff to say and I was saying on the list. I wasn't specifically saying something to her and it's a big thing. And 20 piece McNugget thing. She came back in a video and said that she had not eaten or I came back and said she didn't eat a 20 piece nugget. She had me say that. She did eat a 20 piece nugget. She really did. Also around the time she starts to talk about wanting to quit the job because she wants to pursue more YouTube. And I was really tired of her complaining about everything with the job and she was trying to call out a lot. And then this is also around the time things start to get really tense for us. I know I said I was secretly talking to my ex. I was not talking to her at this point. I talked to her here and there. I did not talk to her like the whole time we were together. Just when things would get really bad between me and Amberlynn. I didn't become good friends with Dana, like actually like texting or talking to her till November. And I want to say like we would text a couple times here and there and then she kind of just quit talking to me quit responding to me but I know towards the end of November she showed me a laundry mat and I went there with her and her mom and her best friend she like ignored me till me and Amberlynn broke up literally which I wasn't like blowing her phone up or anything but I just thought it was weird that she just quit having contact with me but she did have a boyfriend so maybe that was it I don't know this is when we start to become really good friends with Sharla um I want to say Amberlynn still hangs out with her I don't know um, after me and Amber Lynn broke up, I refused to be friends with Charlotte. Charlotte was a pot stirrer or a crap starter. Like, I mean, too much drama with her. We had gotten to a big fight at some point. I don't know what we were arguing about, but then I think either my mom or my mammy called me about going over there because my mammy was going to my mom's and she was like, hey, we're going to cook. You guys should come over. And I was like, heck yeah. You know, I hadn't seen my mom in a little while. I was ready to go over there. Well, Amber Lynn didn't want to go. And I said, that's fine. You don't have to go because I mean, like I said, all that drama from before with her and my mom, they were just tense, but she didn't want me to go. And she was just like throwing a big, just fit. I don't know how else to describe it. She was crying and I had, I know it was a code red Mountain Dew in my hand. She will swear to you that this didn't happen. I've talked to her about it before and she swears it didn't happen. So I don't know. I would try to walk out of the house and I know I had this code red Mountain Dew in my hand and I'm just like, I'm going to go. I'm just going to go. So she starts screaming at me from the sliding glass door doorway saying that she's going to harm herself um, if I leave and I don't know, just all this stuff, you know, just going nuts. No, you won't. You know, I said, that's not something to play around with. Just let me go see my mom. And she starts like coming at me, you know, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I get in my car and I leave the, the, the can on my top of my car and I close the door real quick and I lock the door and she's like telling me to get out, all this stuff. And she ends up throwing the can at my car. And I want to say I ended up not going. I don't think I did. I'm like 98% sure I did not go to my mom's. I ended up just going back inside and dealing with her. And I don't know if that's the fight that might have caused it. But right after that, we also got into an argument. And that's when she let me open a present. And it turned into opening all those presents. And then right after that, I, she also bought me the computer I have. Um, that's the computer that's very old. <laughs> that was when we started hanging out with Sharla, like, a lot. I know that this at this point, Amber Lynn had quit the job. And, uh... I know that my lunch and stuff was always with Charlotte. I always spent lunch with Charlotte and it would be just me and her chilling. So you can see after this, I've started like hanging out at my mom's a lot and going over there a lot and her saying that I just wasn't there and all this. And I mean, I just wanted to see them. And after that big fight from before, I'm glad that she was letting me, letting me, having to say that, that sucked. 
now we're going into December, which is good because this video is getting long. Things at this point really are starting to get super rocky with us. Um, she starts Vlogmas and I gave her her gifts way before Christmas. Um, I also started planning her. It was, she thought it was going to be a friends miss, but really I was planning a surprise party for her. We were arguing so bad about something. It was, she was trying to say that I was being secretive and I thought I was keeping stuff from her and all this. And we were arguing and I was like, fine, you want to know what I'm being secretive about? I was planning you a surprise birthday party. And now you know about it. I was going to do it when we have the friends miss thing and you weren't going to know. And she was like, oh my God, that's the sweetest thing, you know? And I was just like, well, you're not going to be surprised now. And she said, don't, don't cancel it. You know, we'll still do it. I'll act surprised. And she shows the party and what have you. And I haven't started 2017 yet. It just says January. So like I said, so, I know you guys keep asking like what they would argue about her and my mom. And like I said, it was just little spats here and there. Um, I don't know what else to talk about right now. I don't remember anything else because I've pretty much addressed a lot. And I told you guys this was the juicy part. And I promise you that January and February and I think some of March is juicy as well for 2017. And then there's a lot of stuff going on with me and Dana after that. And slowly starting to hang out with Amberlynn. So um, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tea. Round of applause for me.